The La Jolla socialite who killed her ex-husband and his new bride is speaking to 10 News from prison. Tonight, Betty Broderick is pleading her case anew in a letter sent to 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina, the only local television reporter to attend her parole hearing last month. The four-page letter came in a flowered, pre-printed envelope with colored stationery to match. Betty Broderick voicing anger that's not abated and was barely stoked by the parole board's denial. It began by thanking me for coming to the woman's prison at Corona to cover the parole hearing. She says, I fully expected a public stoning. I expected his friends in the legal community to gang up on me, as they've done since day one of the divorce. It was a November Sunday morning 20 years ago that Broderick used a stolen key to break into the home of her ex-husband, hugely successful malpractice attorney Dan Broderick and his new young wife, Linda, while they slept at 5 a.m. Broderick emptied a 38 caliber revolver into the couple, a moment she recalled for the parole board last month. Dan said, okay, okay, you got me, like that. And I had no bullets left or anything, I just ran out of the room. It was a violent end to a bitter divorce that still eats at Betty Broderick. And that attitude was blasted by the parole commissioner, as parole was denied and her return date set at the maximum, 15 years. You're poison. You're poison to yourself. In the letter, Betty wrote, once again, the law and the truth doesn't seem to matter. I've done my time and have a perfect prison record, yet I got the maximum denial possible. And referencing phone machine messages that were played in her trial, vulgar words left for her then 11-year-old son, she went on, is it any wonder I use bad words? This was followed by a smiley face. Again, parole denied. She may petition for another hearing in a few years, but it'll be 15 years before the next one is scheduled. Steve Fiorina, 10 News.